something terrible happened to DZ over the weekend. Don't worry, Blake from Blake CNFT is here to bring us the alpha. Let's do it. All right. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Let's uh, let's jump in. So we've got we've got some. If you're familiar with Cardano NFTs, these are these are ones that you've probably heard of. But I think as we look at this bear market, uh, these are some safe safer picks. Uh, you've always got ones that you can mint, but you've got to go with Clay Nation for number one. Uh, it's a higher price tag, but there's a reason why. Wouldn't you Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Clay Nation has always been one of my favorite. I think it was either the second or third. No, Boss Cat was my first. Chill Kongs was my second. Clay Nation was my third CNFT that I ever purchased. I've always liked them. I was always a Clay Claymation fan growing up. I think you had uh, Creature Comforts. And then what was that MTV um, boxing, uh, Claymation boxing thing that was really oh. cool? You remember what I'm talking about? I can't remember, yeah, but we'll I, yes, I do. But know what yeah, I've always loved uh, just the art behind claymation. So yeah. very cool stuff. Yep, they've got their uh, clay token that's being dropped very soon. So there's a lot of excitement around that. They've got their claymation pitches. There's lots of different entry points and price points you can get in for them. But that's a great OG project to start off with. And then to kind of jump into the metaverse play, I love I love some good old cornucopias. Uh, at 192, the mint price was 174, so not not a bad entry for the smalls, and uh, I think they've got some great stuff coming up. Yeah, Cornucopias has always been a, a kind of a channel favorite here too. Uh, you got their little vehicles, and you have their land and all that. Their team, I think, at one point stopped by here. I think also Meta Money, another channel here at Hit Network, interviewed them, but very uh, they're very dug in in the CNT space, and we definitely feel like they have the team behind it and. I think they have the Charles Hoskinson stamp of approval. That's right. Yes, they do. Uh, they also have these bubble jets. Those are really popular. I think those are trading around the same price. And then the the sprinters as well. So there's yeah. a couple of different things. If you don't necessarily like the land as much, you can get some of the vehicles and potentially rent them out in the future. There's lots of uh, ways to make some passive income with cornucopias when they go live. So that's, that's a good metaverse pick. And then for my gaming pick, I go with Equine NFT, kind of a grassroots project, so just a bunch of collectors in the Cardano NFT space kind of came together and said, Hey, let's, let's do this. Let's make it excellent. And, uh, they, they launched in December, but, uh, I think they're, they're starting to, uh, turn the corner and they're ready to go live here. I hope near the end of this year. So, uh, yeah, I, this is one that I have not done a lot of research on. So you're going to have to school me on this. Yeah. So, uh, it's a horse race management game. So there is a couple, there are, there are a couple other ones out there like Zed run and D race. There's a couple uh -huh. other really popular ones, but I think Equine has taken it to the next level. Uh, they really try to put excellence at the, like the highest tier. They've got a team of like 25 people, um, and their their like their small core team is like Fahadukin, which is like the the biggest CNFT collector of all time. Yeah. Fence Maker, who's like one of the most popular devs, and he's done other projects. Zach and Merrick, uh, so really strong team to kind of build a foundation on. And then these horses just look amazing. They've had some. Uh, I don't know if I can find it right off the top, but like these amazing renders. These are this is just like having them like in these uh, augmented reality things, but um, they've just, they've put together some awesome high renders and they're starting to do more weekly meetings. And uh, I think 330 is a, is a great entry point. And then there's going to be breeding as well as racing. And it's, it's an exciting project for me. Yeah, man, this looks, it looks very cool. I like the fact that they have like 17.3 K followers on their Twitter as well. Pretty yep. strong, but yeah, I'm excited. I, I was familiar with D race on Polygon and Ethereum. Um, I never got to really participate in the actual gaming of it. So I'm interested to see what uh, Equine Pioneer Horse, they actually do um, in, in the respect to the actual gamification of horse racing. So, yeah, excited, man. Hey, but I really appreciate you coming by. If you haven't subscribed to Blake CNFT, make sure you do that. Links will be in the description. Uh, he just popped into the office, man. I, I don't yeah. know. He just came in, um, popped in, wanted to wanted to see what's up, and uh, we always love to, um, you know, see what other people in the community are talking about. Meet him in person. I think you're like the third person from the CNFT space that just kind of randomly popped in. Love that. Uh, but love yeah, it. go follow his channel. Any last words? I don't know, man. It's it's been great to see the studio and the setup you guys have here. I've been a, been a big fan of the channel for a long time now. One of the first channels I discovered kind of learning about all the crypto stuff. So it's pretty surreal being here, and thanks for having me on. Yeah, man. Well, thank you. Peace.